What is the number one most important component of a love relationship? This might surprise you. Hi, I'm David Essel. So for the past 30 years, we've helped people get a chance to understand deeper the concept of love and what it means. And constantly in my lectures and presentations around the U.S., I'm surprised when people answer the question, what's the most important component of love? I'll have them do that in writing. Sometimes when I'm working with a client over the phone that wants to find deeper love, either in their current relationship or in a new relationship, they'll answer this question with statements that surprise me. People in my office do the same thing. So what's the number one most important component of a love relationship? It's trust. Trust, by far, blows away everything else when it comes to love. Some people write compatibility. Sounds good. Uh, other people write chemistry. Sounds good. Other people write similar belief systems. Sounds good. But the number one most important component is trust. I remember a number of years ago, everything is karma in nature. So when I tell you this story, this means probably previously I might have done this to someone else. But a number of years ago, I was dating a woman, and from the first 30 days, she continued to break trust. She continued to say she would do certain things and never follow through. After a couple weeks of this, I called her out on it in a loving way and said, you know, this is unacceptable. Uh, I need to be able to trust you. Well, months went by, and she ended up stealing money from me. Well, that ended the relationship, of course. But the story doesn't end there, because I guess in my codependent way, I welcomed her back in a month later. Sure enough, she continued her same stuff. I couldn't trust because she kept breaking her word. And whenever I would say to her, love isn't enough, she'd say, I know, I know, I keep breaking my word, you can't trust me. I said, and that's true. Eventually the relationship ended. But I say it was karmic in nature because I know in the past I've done the same thing to other people. So what do we do about it? We've got to learn that we have to follow our word 110%. No exceptions. We need to be able to do what we say. That builds trust. Without trust, we don't have a shot. I'm David Essel. If I can help you at all in your love relationship or in your interpersonal relationship to move to the next level, to go deeper, email me at talkdavid.com. All of our sessions are 100% money-back guaranteed. You have nothing to lose. Let's rock it together. Have a great day.